everyone and welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make lentil soup, also known as fekes in Greek. It's a very common dish that's eaten very often actually. It's healthy, it's delicious, it's vegetarian, I mean it's gluten free so and we serve this at the restaurant every day because it's one of our most popular soups. We even serve it in the summertime and people like it. It's really hearty and filling. It's a great um, Actually, it's a great entree. You can serve it as an, as an appetizer or a starter, but it's so filling that you could definitely eat this as an, as an entree and be completely satisfied you know, at the end of your meal. So I'm going to take you over the ingredients and then we're going to get started. It's a very economical meal to make too, so make a big batch of it, freeze it for the days that you don't have time to cook, and then you'll always have something yummy and ready to eat in your house. Now, I have some chopped up uh, vegetables. I have some chopped up carrots, a chopped up onion, and uh, chopped garlic in here and that's going to go into our pot all together. We'll get started on that. And basically we're just going to cook these with a little bit of olive oil over medium heat for about 15 minutes or so just until they begin to soften. And I always start it off on a high heat, and then as soon as it gets going and gets nice and hot, I reduce the temperature. So we'll get that started. Then you want, lent you want to use lentils. Um, what I do is, I, this is like a pound of lentils. I'm making a really nice big batch. What I do is just rinse them out a few times in water until the water runs clear, and then they're ready to put in the pan, in the pot actually. And then we have some crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce. Just make sure whatever tomatoes you get, they don't have any additional seasoning in them because we're adding the seasoning ourselves here. You need some salt, pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, oregano, a little bit of feta that's going to be for garnish later on, some fresh parsley and water. That's all you need for this. So while these are cooking, we're just going to actually wait. There's nothing else to do. Um, once they become nice and soft, we're going to add all the rest of the ingredients all together and that's it. We're just going to wait for it to be ready. Okay, so after about 10-15 minutes, the vegetables would have be, are going to begin to soften and you don't want to get them to the point where they're beginning to melt because you want them to retain their texture and this is what they need to look like. Okay, so at, next we're just going to add our lentils. Our tomato sauce or pureed tomatoes, a little bit of oregano, some black pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, and a little bit of salt. And then we're going to add a lot of water. So I add about 12 cups when there's a pound. And then sometimes I even add more in the end. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover this and let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat to like a medium. And I'm going to allow it to cook for about 35 minutes. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's, when it's done. After 35 minutes, we're just going to adjust and see if it needs a little more water, a little bit more salt. We're going to add the uh, freshly chopped parsley and it's going to be done. And this is ready. It's been cooking for 35-40 minutes. I've added a little bit more water to it because the more it sits, the thicker it gets. It absorbs the water. And then, um, so I just added a little bit more. I chopped up some parsley here. For some freshness. And then I'm going to taste the seasoning and see if it needs a little more salt. Oh, that's so good. And again, it's going to look a little bit watery and like maybe you've had a little bit too soupy, but as soon as it sits here for about 30 minutes with the heat turned off, it's going to thicken and it's going to be the perfect consistency. Even though I like it like this, I like my soup to be really nice and light. And of course, we have a little bit of feta cheese here. Feta makes everything better. I'm going to crumble some on top of that. If you want to leave out the feta cheese and leave it completely vegan, my husband likes to put a little bit of um, vinegar in his soup. 
It's a strange combination, but it works beautifully. This, a nice hearty, toasted a loaf of bread with a, a nice slice of bread, a little bit of olive oil, perfection. Let me take a little taste. That is delicious right there. I'm gonna put the link in the description box down below. It takes you directly to the recipe with all the exact measurements. Make sure you get it, make this for your family. Make a big batch and it freezes beautifully, you guys. Let me know what you think. Thank you for spending time with me today. Thumbs up the video, share pictures with me on social media, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.